Good evening, Yarnies, Dirty Hookers, and Fiber Fiends. How is everybody doing this evening? I'm doing pretty well. Not too bad of a day so far. Let me catch up with chat, see what's going on. Um, hey there, Moth. Welcome in. Blue Raven says, uh, bounce between this stream and another. That's fine. Uh, hi there, YLK87. You're excited. I'm excited, too. Um, Moth got first, and there's Andrew. And yes, I've already responded to you, Miss Honey. Uh, how are you? <laughs> Thank you for the lurk, uh, MS Creates. Uh, hey, Teresa. Hey, uh, hello, Picking Halls. Hey, JP. Um, yes, Miss Honey. Honey. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's a, it's something you had to see. Um, how is everybody? What am I making today? Um, Tuesdays are, I've renamed them. They used to be Stitch Dictionary Tuesdays, and that kind of sounded stupid, uh, in my opinion. So I have now renamed them Teaching Tuesdays. So on Tuesdays, we teach a uh, crochet stitch. Tonight's stitch is called the Dock Leaf Stitch. It's a variation of the um, fan, a fans. So all of uh, February on Tuesdays, we're doing fan-related type stitches. Don't you call my friend Eric stupid. Back, yeah, okay, backhand me then. Uh, I love that best teacher. Oh, I don't know about that. I try. I try, but thank you. Um, um, what else was I going to do? Um, what else was I going to say? I had everything in my mind all ready to go, and then you hit that start button, and I forget everything. Oh, um, I did add it. I did add it. I did add it. Yeah, English. Um, I did add some new channel point redeems. So you can find those below. Um, I'm going to add some more. I did that as I was getting everything all ready before stream the past hour or so. Um, I still need to work on Granny Karen merch. That's going to take a little bit more brain power than I thought I got to play around, around with some Photoshop skills, which I'm very rusty with. Um... <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, I don't think there's any other... Oh, one other thing I want to mention. Um, the end of February, we're having the uh, our second Maryland-themed stream. Uh, February's theme um, is Baltimore, the city of Baltimore. Um, when was it? Today's what? Tuesday? Sunday. I let everyone know. I posted in the Discord in the events channel um, some links to some items, some food items that you can get if you want, if you want to participate along, um, that are quintessentially Baltimore. So, um, some items that inexpensive. Most of them are on Amazon. Uh, I did add another one today. It's not technically just Baltimore. It is the Mid-Atlantic region. It's technically a Pennsylvania product, but it's so close. Literally, they make it literally within how many miles from the border? Within 10, 15 miles from the border. We kind of claim it as our own. Um, so yeah, if you want to check anything out, uh, like I said, everything is on Amazon except for one. Um, there's one uh, item that I couldn't really find on Amazon. So they're going to be some yummy stuff. There's one thing you might want to... Um, if you get it, you can taste it. But I don't think you're going to eat it like by itself. Um, that's the Old Bay seasoning. So... Um, Old Bay Seasoning is a Maryland, a Baltimore, actually a Baltimore product. Um, but you can actually get that all around the world. It's, it's owned by McCormick, McCormick Spice Company now. And you can get it in Europe. You can get it in Asia and Australia. You can get it everywhere. So you might be able to find some of these things locally. Um, so, yes, if you want to participate, that is uh, a fun little thing. Again, that is the 25th of February. I'm letting everybody know now so they can place an order and it can get to you by then. 
Um, what's up? Hey there, Fairy Dust. What's up, you filth filthy, nasty hookers? Welcome in. Hey, Picking Hall. Saw you added the Utch chips. Those, those, those are your favorites, too? Okay. That's what I was talking about. Um, the Utz potato chips. It's actually technically in Pennsylvania. Um company but they're southern pennsylvania so close to the maryland line like i said within 15 miles probably less than 15 miles from the maryland line um i'll address i'll repeat this again when we do our baltimore stream when i talk about the uts potato chips but um little thing about uts it is a regional uh brand of chips uh, they started out just very very local um, I remember as a kid, they would only s sell them in stores where with that were a 24 hour drive within with that within them after they've been made to keep to ensure freshness. They've expanded that since then. So most of the East Coast and I don't know how far West go um, that their range goes. They also do make pretzels. You can get pretzels all over the country. I've talked to people on the West Coast that have, have gotten Utz brand potato uh, pretzels. They make cheese curls. They make a whole bunch of different other things. But they're they started with with potato chips. They are my favorite. They're light, airy, very very good. Um, they have a wide range of flavors. So we'll talk about all of that um, on our Baltimore stream, even though that's not really Baltimore. But alrighty. So let's get in, into this today. And again, if anybody has any questions. Um, about anything, you can always ask. And if you're crocheting along with me, let me know so I can go slow enough um, that you can keep up with me. So tonight we're doing, this is called the Dock Leaf Stitch. Um, hey there, Sleeping Luna. Hanging out, lurking today while I spin. The stitch is looking so pretty. Thank you very much. Um, you know what? I need to um, do a... I'm just, I'm, I need to do all the things. Let me see here. Uh, we need to give out some shout outs. Oh, he left already. Oh, no, he didn't. I don't know how to type. Um, I'm going to shout out Andrew. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That is Sasha. Oh, thank you, Fairy Dust, for shouting out JP or Jason. I I don't know what to call you. Yes, check out both Andrew and Jason. Great, great, m both male crocheters. Um, in the first clip uh, for Andrew, that was a Sasha clip. Um, I jokingly say, um, I tune in to see Sasha and then stick around to see what Andrew's doing. Um, Sasha is Andrew's kitty cat. Um, and that is where the Miss Honey thing comes from. He... He always calls Sasha Miss Honey because he's getting into things. And but there's a long again. There's there's a video behind all of that. We're not going to get into all that tonight. And then also check out Jason. He does um, you do you do Amy's, right? You do Amy Garomi. I've only um rel I've only um what's the word? Been um watching Jason's uh, stream for the past uh, week or so. Um, he does, he was doing the, um, the clip there. It was a little bunny rabbit amigurumi with crochet thread. So it was super cute. And his, the bunny rabbit's name is Jerry. So go and check them out. Um, and thank you for the lurk sleeping Luna or Liz. And I'm going to shout you out as well. If I can do the thing. Everyone go and follow Liz as well. <gasps> Wait, are you cutting your hair in that? What? Wait, what? Wait, wait. I ha I missed that. <laughs>
uh, raised $150 for Mind Your Crafty Business's charity fundraiser for the American Heart Association, was going to get a haircut the next day anyway, and what chopped off for instance, oh, that's very, very cool, that's very cool for that, uh, for the, for the fundraiser, yeah, I missed that, I totally missed that, yes, go and follow Liz over at Sleeping Luna Designs, wonderful streamer, another Moco Loco, um, Hundred and fifty in ten minutes. Wow, that is wild. Wow. Um, Liz does everything. You crochet, you you cross stitch, you're spinning. Yarn that is. Um You were trying one uh, this was a while ago. I think you were trying to knit to learn how to knit. Um yes, great, great streamer. Lots of chaos over there. Of course, it's a Moco Loco. So, <laughs> of course, there is chaos involved. Let me catch up with chat. There's lots been going on. Um, sorry, everybody. I'm a little slow here. I'm just running my mouth. Um, come on, let's scroll down. Hey there, Copy. How are you? I'm here, but also gaming, so a little slow to respond. That's fine. No problem. Glad that you're here. Um... You've seen Jason make a vest, a shirt, some bags. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I need to watch your stream more often. Um, hey there, Moth. Uh, let's see the outcome of me cutting my own hair would be catastrophic. Well, hey, you know what? If anybody is interested, I don't know how. I mean, I, I could do it for a charity. You wouldn't really get much. But um, um, if anybody is interested... When it grows out, I could cut my hair on stream, because I do it myself anyway, because I just take clippers and buzz it all off. So, uh, that's why it was the day before a haircut, and my hairstyle was new in advance. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, for charity, make sure, yes, yes, for charity. Definitely for charity. Welcome in, Raiders. Hey there, Mickey. How are you? Um, I'm gonna give. I'm giving out all the shoutouts before we even get started. Um, oh, that's when you were watching. Say yes to the dress. Got on for 15 minutes and said that I don't want to miss Cub Stream. Oh, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to stop your stream just for me. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. I was... My, uh... My image was covering everyone up. Didn't mean to do that. Uh... Uh, you stream more after you finish. It was dead, and you, wasn't fe you weren't feeling it. Okay, gotcha. Um, yes, go and check Mickey. Mickey also crochets, and Mickey's been doing doilies. Mickey has been doing doing doilies. Hey there, RJ Nag and Shadow Arch. Everyone's coming in tonight. Um, I think she was watching Say Yes to the Dress. Welcome in, Gary. How are you? Fingy stretchers. I haven't even... It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time till he finds them. It's a matter of time. I'm not crazy, Melinda. Being in a very bad mood for forty years, and then he put, then he puts in a lurk. <laughs> Welcome in, Gary. I need to catch up. Oh my gosh, I haven't even started. You told me to do finger stretches. I haven't even stitched a single thing. I haven't even. Um. Anyway, actually, old enough to remember that Ray commercial when I was when I was on TV. Takes a shot of prune juice. That's one of the new ones. <laughs> yes, I remember the Raid commercial too. That is why I put the Raid commercial in there because I am old as well. 
Um, okay, let's hydrate, stretch. Oh. Okay, Gary. Posture check. Wow, I haven't even done anything. <laughs> Alrighty. That's a really short clip. Oh. Hey there, tur hey, hey, hey there, Turkey Hat. Well, if you know him, yes. Hey there, Turkey Hat. Hey there, Nor Fairy. How are you? Welcome in. <laughs> I haven't gotten a single thing done. Everybody indeed is here. I guess your milkshake still brings all the boys to the yard. My milkshake, unfortunately, is becoming Greek your yogurt. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Where's where's the button? There's the button. Whoa, there's the brightness. All right. So now you can see the turkey. Oh, by the way. Alrighty then. Um, okay, let me catch up. Better than baby pow baby ba baby powder. Hey there, Clay Miko. Oh, the hat's hella funny. Yes, this is my turkey hat. It is on backwards because Clay Miko said it would look better this way because it's weird and funny. Um, okay, what time is it? It's eight. It's quarter after six. Okay. The Goonies. Yes, I love the Goonies. The temperature blanket has a use. Yes. To be honest, I would eat baby powders before I eat Greek yogurt. I don't like. I don't like yogurt either. I don't like any yogurt. And I like dairy products, but I don't like yogurt. Um, oh, you can't even see because my, um, oh, give me, where's, let me move that down there for a second. Um, so I have this, this is my temperature blanket. It's not finished yet. I've got less than a month to go. I think I'm on, let me, actually, let, I can pull it up. I can pull it up. Where is the, the yogurt slander? Yeah, yogurt is big yuck. Now, I don't mind frozen yogurt. It's weird. It's weird when it's frozen. Um, where did my, okay, I finished the row for December 6th. So I have from the 7th through the Hey there, Notewood. How are you? <laughs> I finished. All I have last left is from the 7th of December to the 31st. So it's almost done. So whatever that is, that, that's what? Three weeks? Um, I like yogurt, but not the Greek. It has a funky aftertaste like ass. If you don't want to lick a second time. Uh, 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 okay. I mean, if you have frozen yogurt, put M&Ms and sprinkles on it. True, true. Yogurt's amazing. You're just not eating the right yogurt. Yeah, I've... Mm. Maybe I should try it. We have yogurt. We have yogurt. So maybe um, I should try it. Also, I don't, I've never liked cottage cheese. And we have some of that. So maybe I should try it again. See if I like it. Uh, chick, white chicken lasagna. Ooh, yum, 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 yum. So, okay, now, you're, now we're talking food. And when Mickey came in, I had a food thing in my head. We'll get back to that in a second. So that is about half a year. And this is on a rolling rack. Hey there, Action X. How are you? Um, bear with me. Ah, things are falling. It's just hangers. And that is the first half of the year. So this is just January 1st. Of 2023 so I've made a lot of progress let me wheel it back to where it needs to go for when I go to work on it it's easier to work on it when it's on the rack so it's not laying on my lap so I get to the end of the row I just got to flip it over so um it's fine here I'm pretty good Greek yogurt what the fuck is that otherwise yogurt is great I don't know why we're talking about yogurt. 
Oh, Fairy Dust had said something about yogurt. Oh, about... Um... Oh, everybody was coming in to the stream, and he said that my milkshake brings everybody to the yard, but his his milkshake turns into into yogurt. Um, wait a minute. Makes me want frozen yogurt with the boba. I've never had boba. Um, uh, innovative. Yes, very innovative. I was going to tell you the other night when you're talking about eggs for dinner that you can beat the eggs with some cottage cheese before you put it in the pan. They're fluffy and extra protein. Huh. Yeah, well, when I make scrambled eggs, all I do is whip lots of air in them, and they fluff up. So, hey there, Upcycly. I look like a Viking. Yes. Yeah, a Thanksgiving Viking. I mean, my hat's on backwards. Actually, I don't think we're going to do it sideways. So, that's how it should, should look. But, Clay Miko, the other, about a month or so ago, said it would look better. Um this way and I can um have you tried whip yogurt I've never had whip whip like whipped whew, whipped yogurt um can't keep up ah, and I can't type I'm gonna give up cycly a shout out If you're not following up cycling, go and follow them. Another Moco Loco. Um, why? Wait, why is my Moco? Oh, I have. Okay, I know why. I know why. I thought I had the rainbow one, but anyway. Um, another Moco Loco. She is a crocheter as well. She also takes trash and turns it into treasure. She makes plarn. She takes plastic bags and turns them into yarn. Um, does all bunch of different things. She's working on. I think you're almost, you're finishing up. You're getting close to the finish line of this blanket for her stepdaughter. You, um, using her late mother-in-law's um, yarn, and it's a sampler, so each square is a different stitch. Okay, i got to constantly keep up with this chat, you people. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Have you tried whip yogurt? I've never heard of whip yogurt. Um, Like the gas from the whip. No, we're not doing whippets nor fairy. If you whip the yogurt, does it say yes, though? Fairy dust. Your blanket looks good. Promise I was listening during the yogurt talk. Nope, that, that's fine. As I was saying, uh, Mickey, when you raided in, um, we got something today. We got a jar of pickled red onions, and I just had them on a sandwich. That was really, really good. Good, good idea. I have no idea, nor fairy. I have no idea. <laughs> Alrighty. We're going to attempt to do this now. Let's move this out of my... Move this. You had German pork chops again? I thought you had German pork chops last night. I've never heard of German pork chops. You might have to pop that recipe in the um, Discord if you want to. Leftovers. Okay. Leftovers are great. If it wasn't for leftovers, I would not be on this planet. So if anybody wants to follow along tonight, we are doing the dock leaf stitch, a variation of the fan stitch. This looks more complicated than it is. Oh, Action X on a three-stream streak. Woohoo! Okay, if anybody is following along, what you're going to need to do is for your... Um, 30, wait. I got to remember the count. Okay. Uh, grab some yarn. Okay, that's cool. I can I can hold off. I actually I do have to double check the um how many um chains I need to make. Let me see here. One, two. Yes. 
Yes. Okay. Uh, love the such a pretty and works up quick. Yes. I usually like leftovers more than I like the food the day is cooked. Yes. Most leftovers taste better the day after. And it lets all the flavors meld. And yes. Alrighty. Is that a flower pattern? I guess it could be a flower pattern. Um, they're calling it the dock leaf. So I think there is a plant called dock, D-O-C-K. And it kind of does look like a flower, like a, a leaf or a flower, and that's like the stem. Pinto beans and cornbread. Ooh, now you're talking. Uh, shit, just saw the big, big blue text on screen. <laughs> what, like that right there? <laughs> yes, plants. Yeah, I think there is a, a plant called Doc. I don't know what it looks like. Homemade vegetable soup. Ooh. Yum, yum, yum. Alrighty. If anybody is crocheting along, and I know JP is gonna get gonna get yarn. So bread and butter pickle. We got bread and butter pickles too today. So we're going to chain 28. The pattern is a multiple of eight plus four. So, 8 times 3 is 24, plus 4 is 28. So, we're going to do 28 just for our sample. And, fingy stretches. My, I think my fingers are stretched. And, you can use any size yarn, any size hook that you want. Oh, let's bring the music back. It's a little quiet in here. Hold on a second. The street behind me, there's a uh, emergency vehicle. I just saw flashing lights. After each stitch stretch, yeah, no, no. That you know what will happen? I will turn off that thingy stretch routine. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna chain up twenty eight. Two, three. Stitch and squat, it can happen. No, no. Let me zoom on in. So I have 28 chains. Again, your multiple is eight. And then after you do your multiple, they have a wide you want it, you add an additional four. So you could do eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, something math oh i did math here earlier today and i had i was trying to figure something out and i didn't like the number i got and yeah it had to do with my age i know how old i am it was just we'll leave it at that keeping up with the learning of crochet yes uh gary have you made the sweater yet all right so we have a multiple of eight plus an additional four so we're gonna skip um three chains and in the fourth chain from our hook we're going to do three double crochets again skip three and in that fourth chain do three doubles there's one two and three again if i'm going too fast Yell at me. So the fourth chain from the hook, put in three double crochets. We're now going to skip three more chains. We're learning how to have patience, trying to make a second row without blowing a gasket. Oh, doing the second, after you do a row of singles, after you work your, um, Stitches into your chain, that tends to get easier when you go into the actual stitch. 
Okay. So in the fourth chain from the hook, we did three doubles. We're going to skip three chains. One, two, three. And in that fourth chain, we're going to put in a single crochet. So when we got our three doubles, skip three, in the fourth put a single. We're going to skip three more chains, one, two, three, and in the fourth we're going to put in seven doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I would think between the thread separating and trying to find the right part on the hook, huh? Working the chain is usually the most frustrating part. Dread it every time you start a new project. Yes. But when you're first learning, it kind of, it helps to learn because there are sometimes you have to go into a chain. So it's good practice. But once you, uh, you get better at it, you can always do the um, chainless foundation route. But again, Gary, if you need help at any time, let me know and I'd be glad to help. All right, to recap, so what we've done so far is the fourth chain from our hook to begin with, we did th three doubles, skip three, and in the fourth do a single. <laughs> skip three, and in the fourth do seven doubles. And we're gonna continue this all the way down. Just love how a piece of fancy fabric is created from a string of yarn, yes. We're gonna skip three chains, one, two, three. In the fourth one, we're gonna put in a single crochet. We're gonna skip three, one, two, three. And in the fourth chain, again, if I'm going too fast, please let me know. So I'm gonna skip three in the fourth chain, seven doubles, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip three, and usually when I get those all those seven in there, I move it out of the way, because that first chain kind of gets stretched and distorted and gets caught up in the stitches. So that's the first one. One, two, three. And in the fourth one, we do a single crochet. And when you get to your end of this row, whatever your repeat is, you should have, should have four chains left. So you're gonna when you get to this point, you're gonna skip three, and in the very last chain, you're gonna put in four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. So I can recap this. We have our chain, which is a multiple of eight plus four. Once you have your, your chain, your fourth chain from the hook, you put in three double crochets. Those three plus those chains that you skipped counts as a total of four doubles. So that's like a half of a shell. So you get your three doubles into that chain. You're gonna skip three, the next chain gets a single. Skip three, the next one gets seven doubles. Skip three, the next one gets a single. Skip three, the next one gets a seven doubles. Skip three, the next one gets a single. Skip three, and you're, when you're at the end, you'll skip three and your very last stitch should get four double crochets. So that is what you should have for 
row number one. Uh, first few projects I made couldn't be described as fancy. Oh yeah, my first couple of pieces were horrible. So that is row number one. Let me get something to drink. If we're ready for row number two, we can move on. So row number two, we're going to chain up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That counts as a double crochet and a chain three. We're going to turn. I chain, then turn. Some people turn, then chain. Whatever works for you. Okay. So we're going to find our first um, single crochet. It happens to be between our fans. It's right here. And in that, we're going to put in a double crochet. So we're going to yarn over. And we're going to put a double crochet into that single. And now we're going to chain up three. One, two, three. And we've got our first fan, full fan. We had seven stitches, so we don't want to find that middle stitch. So you can eyeball it if you can find the exact middle. It's better to count your stitches. So one, two, three, four. And then in the fourth um, stitch of that fan, we're going to put in a double crochet. We're now going to do three chains, and then our single, which is between our fans, in the single gets a double crochet. That's all we're doing. We're chaining three, putting a double into the middle stitch of our fan, then chaining three, and putting a double into the single stitch crochet that's between our fans. That's all this row is. When you get to the very, very end, you're going to chain three. And you have a turning chain here, which counts as a double crochet in the end. You're going to um, double crochet into the top of that turning chain. I had to double check my uh, my pattern. All right, to recap this row, we got to the end of the row, we chained up six and turned, or turn and chain six. Go through the beginning of this, of the second row? Okay, I can actually rip it out. This is actually an easy row to do. And I do not mind frogging out any of my work. All right, so we're at the end of the first row. No, 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 don't be sorry. This is Teaching Tuesday. And actually goes for any day that I'm streaming, regardless of what day it is. Um, I'm more than willing to teach. And this is part of the, te the teaching process. So, we get, we're at the end here, we're going to chain up six. Two, three, four, five, six. So you do six chains and turn, or if you're the type that turns and then just the chain, that's fine too. So I got my six chains and I've turned. So now I'm going to do a double crochet. So I've already yarned over. And I'm going to find the single crochet that's between the fans. So right down here in the valley of the... Look at it as like mountains or hills. So we're down in the valley in between the two. Into that single crochet, we're going to put in the double. Okay. This chain six counts as a double crochet and three chains. When we get to the end of the next row... Of the next row It'll make sense. It'll square up more. It'll be more like that. So we did a double crochet into that single. We're now going to chain three. And then we're going to find the middle stitch of this fan. 
So we had seven, so we know we need to go into the fourth stitch. One, two, three, four. Into that middle stitch, that fourth stitch, we're gonna put in a double crochet. So there's our double. And now we're going to chain three, and we're gonna put in a double into the single crochet that's between the two fans. So down in the valley. Sorry if I've already said this, but what would you use this stitch to make? Oh, good question, good question. Sometimes this book, and I got this out of the Stitch Crochet, the Crochet Stitch Dictionary by Sarah Hazel, not sponsored, not affiliated. Um, sometimes they give um, examples of what it could be used for. Um, uh, would be beautiful worked in a very fine yarn and hung at a window. So like dra like curtains, like I um, I could see it on like if you do like a tension rod, but in like that that goes in between like the the window jams, and it's just a panel, so it'll be kind of lacy, or used as an overlay, meaning an overlay, for instance like a pillow. So if you got like an actual like pillow that's got like woven fabric on it, and then put it over top, so you can see the pillow fabric underneath through the um, through the stitches because it's open. Uh, hey there crusties this is this is Twitch's content control department and you're being issued a stop stream order unless you make a turkey hat. I am not making another turkey hat crusty. <laughs> um, everybody you need to go and check out Krusty's stream. It's adult content, but look at this. It was a short, short clip, but one was enough. Oh, actually, no, I have made two. I have a second one. My um, brother's fiance ended up getting the other one. So I have made two. Um, but yes, go and check out Krusty, another Moco Loco. It is um, 18 plus, there's sensitive language, there's adult language, so keep that in mind. But amazing, amazing artist. Um, he's a welder and he also does pyography, which is wood burning. That clip, it was a picture of a dog. Um, if I remember correctly, I think, I don't know the, the and I know there's some sentimental reason, um, not reason, um, meaning behind that picture. Um, I know um, during Halloween, during October, during the fall, he did a wood burning of the Nun from the Conjuring series. Um, drink, swear, and smoke like a like, like a trucker. Yes. So there is that. But um, definitely go and check it out. Really good time over there. Um, if I can, I pop over there and hang out for a bit. Just to, I mean, he's a great, great person, but also the art that he does is wonderful. You got to run up cycly, got to go to uh, run to work. All right. Thank you for uh, stopping by. I appreciate that. And speaking of the turkey hat, the redeem is gone. So no more turkey hat. And let's get rid of my background. And back to our stitch. Where were we? Okay. So all this is, is after you do your first chain, your six chains, you do a double crochet into the single, which is here. You do a double crochet there. Chain three, double crochet into the middle of your fan, so the fourth st stitch of the fan. Chain three, double into the single. We're gonna do chain three now. One, two, three, and double into the, to the middle of our fan. Chain three and double into the single crochet because the single is between the fans. Chain three, and we're gonna double into the very last stitch, which is actually our turning chain when we did this previous row because that turning chain counts as a double crochet. And that is row number two. Now, let's see if I can lay this out. You can kind of envision it. 
if I kind of flat stretch it out a little bit. Over here, we have three chains and a double. Well, this kind of mimics the same thing, three chains and a double. Even though it's all six chains, the first three chains counts as a double crochet. When we get to this next row, where we're going to stitch, it will actually look a lot better. So that is row number two. Let me catch up with chat, see if... Um, oh, P Picking Hall said yes. Curtain, you like the curtain idea? Yes, this would look, especially a thinner uh, thread, like a crochet thread, would look really good as as like a, just a decorative curtain, like a sheer, a sheer type curtain. All right, so for round three, row three, row three is pretty easy. Row three is very easy. We're going to chain one and turn. And we're going to single into the top of this double here. So the stitch where that chain is coming out of, we're going to put in a single crochet. We're going to chain three. And again, if I'm going too fast, please let me know. So I've chained, I, I've done a, a chain one, single into that stitch there, that same stitch, this stitch right here. Then I've chained up three and into the top of our double crochet, we're putting in a single. Oh my God, my kid just woke up from a nap with hives. Oh, oh no, hopefully they're all right. Oh. Yes, go, go tend to the kid. Uh, I'm wondering if it would make a nice runner of some sort. That oh, actually that could work, or if it's too thin for that. Uh, has some ice, an eyesore of a deep freezer in my house. Just thinking today, figure how to cover it. That could work. I mean, it all depends on the thickness of yarn you use or thread. I mean, you are gonna, you are gonna see through it, so it's gonna. But you're not going to see a lot through it. Okay. So now we're going to chain three. And the top of our double here, we put in a single. Chain three. Top of our double, put a single. This is this, is this row. This row is the easiest. One, two, three. Top of the double gets a single. One, two, three. Top of the double gets a single. We get to the end here. One, two, three. This was that chain six that we did on that previous row. And we're going to do a single, but in our third chain from, from the bottom. So you're going to count from the bottom three chains one two three and into that third chain you're going to put a single you want to go into the chain not into the chain space because it's not going to have a squared up edge so that is row number three I know Jason is, is crocheting along if I'm going too fast Yell at me. <laughs> oh, I should have told everybody this is this pattern is a six row repeat. Once we get the first repeat done, then I can tell you um, how. Um, actually, no. It's a seven row repeat, I think. Yeah, it's a seven row repeat. We can, uh, I'll tell you how to go further. Sorry, I'm quite quiet, as I said, at the start of another stream as well. Planning for the stream on the 17th and 18th of May is going to be a surprise for that long. For a 30-hour stream. Wait, Blue Ray, 30 hours? That's a long stream. I, I no, I couldn't, I couldn't stream for that long. <laughs> Hopefully, uh. You won't be exhausted from that. 
All right. For round number round, row number four, we're going to chain one and turn. And row number four, is just like row number three. So we're going to single into that first stitch, chain three, single now into the single. Hey there, King Xavier. A do Fetty. I don't um I don't know what that is. I, I only speak English, so I'm not certain what that is. So we're going to chain three, single into our single stitch. Okay, I got to frog that out my yarn split. One, two, whoops, it's split again. This, this yarn, you've seen me use this many, many times. This is my go-to teaching yarn. Good cocking. Okay. I don't speak, I don't know what language that is. Sorry. So yes, we single into the single stitch, chain three, single into the single, chain three, single into the single. Okay, I got till seven to start. They don't need me here early. What chaos can I cause in the meantime? Uh-oh. Then we're gonna do three chains and then single into the single. And then we're gonna do three chains and single into the single. Hey there, Bray. How are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. How are you? Um, yeah, I don't know what that person is trying to say. If they're being offensive, I'll, I'll deal with them. So that was round number, not round. Um, hold on. One, two, three. That was row number four. Uh, all right, I took care of them. <laughs> so if anybody needs me to repeat these last couple rows, let me know, but they're pretty easy. Uh, it was German, I figured. So all you're really going to do for these um, these last two rows, you're going to chain up one, single into that first stitch, chain three, single into your double. Is this fan supposed to be puffy? It can be puffy, but that all has to do with your tension. Um, mine has tends to be flat. Are you going, when you did the fans... Did you go, did you skip three chains and then the fourth chain do seven doubles, skip three chains and then the fourth do a single, skip three chains and the fourth do seven doubles? Your tension is tight? Yeah. Again, that's when I, I mean, I don't know how, how familiar you are with, with fans, with a fan or a shell stitch. When I first was, was doing them, they were very puffy because my tension is very tight. It's just something you're going to learn with time. But these last two rows, they're, they're identical. You're going to you just do a single crochet in the first stitch, chain three, single in the actual stitch, chain three, single in the stitch. You do that all the way across for both rows. So that, that works up somewhat fast because it's pretty much just chains. Row number six, we're gonna chain up six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and turn. Thank you for the lurk, I appreciate that. Uh, we're gonna have an ad. 
before we do round a row, why did I say round? Before we do round five, we're going to go do our ad. And when we come back, we will um, do some Discord. I think there might be one or two things over in the Discord. Then we're going to do, we'll continue with our little uh, pattern. So let me move this here. Everybody get do some self-care. I'm going to do a bunch of stretches and we will return.
Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for sitting through the ad. Give me one second real quick. I need to change this. Uh, this is really annoying me. I need to change the um, my logo to the, the rainbow one. Um, I had it the black and white for when I did the Maryland stream the other week. Um, we're going to do the, um, what you call it, the Discord thing. The thing. Um, we've got two things over in the Discord. Again, if anybody wants to share anything, feel free to post um, your work, whatever you're working on. And oh, this is from the other day. This is from Jason. This is the um, cute little Amigurumi bunny rabbit that he did with the um, crochet thread. That is Jerry. Super, super adorable. I watched him make this. He did that over a course of two different streams. Um, I love it. Makes me want to do a mini Amigurumi now. And I'm new to Amis. So that was from the other day. Uh, we got something from Mickey. Mickey's been making doilies. I have enabled Mickey. And uh, gotten into the fun of doilies. I really like this pattern. I like this pattern a lot. Um, very, very nice. Very, very nice. I love the... Um, what do you call it? The design here in the center. It kind of almost looks like a, um, a water lily design almost. Yeah, you, yeah you, you guys can share whatever you want. Again, as long as it abides by uh, TOS. Yeah, love, love seeing what people work on. Even if it's something they've worked on in the past. It doesn't have to be something you're currently working on. I'm going to catch up with chat here in a second. Um, actually, let me do that now before we go any further. Uh, Picking Halls asked if I had any pets. No, I have no pets. We've had pets in the past. We've had cats and dogs, but no pets currently. Um, Upcycly is going to get gummy bears. <laughs> um, um, are you taking classes? Yes, how is everyone doing on the stitch? If you're stitching along. Wish I had the talent of some of you guys in this Discord. Everybody has, has their own talent and their own skills. So I'm, cer I'm pretty certain there are things that you could do picking halls that I can't do. What do we have here? Oh, we've got something from Melanie. I think that's her name. Melanie MS Creates. We worked on some emotes today on stream. I was um, in her stream earlier today, lurking a little bit. Um, if you are not following MS Creates, um, there are a few streamers that I say you should go follow. This is one you must follow. If you really like cute, um, whimsical, adorable art. This is the stream to watch. I don't think there's any um, audio in this clip, but um, she makes the cutest, like I said, cutest whimsical art um, out there. She makes prints, stickers, emotes, all different types of things. Um, she does, on Fridays, she does Art Prompt Fridays, where the stream gets to pick from, I think, five, I think a handful of um, animals or creatures or being, I don't know the exact term is, but I think they're mostly animals, and picks one of those and one of five animals actions and then they vote on them and then whatever is the winners she draws on stream and uh, turns it into really really cute adorable art so this is some um emotes that she is working on i think this is to this one is supposed to be her dog bailey she has two dogs she has bailey and heidi they are very um hyper <laughs> hyper and very they, they bark a lot so 
uh, you'll see the, the puppies in uh, the stream very often. So that is super cute. What else do we have here? This is this is of Heidi holding a heart. Bailey is the white one. Heidi is the gray one. So that is with the heart. And then there's this one. And uh, she has a um, a shop. I think she has an Etsy shop. And I think she might have maybe a Kofi. I'm not certain. But um, like I said, a lot of the uh, streams I say you should go check. This one you must check because it's just the cuteness level is through the roof. And she she's a great streamer. I love her personality. Very chill. Very chill and relaxed. And I think on, was it Tuesdays or Wednesdays? I think it might be when. I know it's, it's one day a week. She um, teaches you how to draw. So if you want to learn, um, it might be something you want to check into. And here we have, oh, from Jason. It's a new jeans bunny tapestry. I was originally going to make it a bag, but I think I'm going to keep it as an art piece. <gasps> Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, this is tapestry. I think that's also in Tarsha. I've done a piece very similar. Not this design, but this um, method of crochet. I hated doing it. <laughs> I hated doing it. But yes, yours is beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Um, thank you. Thank you very much for sharing. Um, we have anything else? I think that's all we have so far. Let me double check. Keep up with chat. Um, Blue Raven says, in that case, I better leave. We're talking about talent. Oh, stop, Blue Raven. You have talent. I have four ideas for one of my streams. Square coaster. Attempt to make a round coaster. Attempt to make a pumpkin. How, peop how people draw a cartoon character. Yes, it does. Yeah, that um, tapestry does take a long time. Yeah, definitely. If you want to learn how, how to um, make a pumpkin, we'll have, definitely have to tune in to Blue Raven. And I've shouted out everyone else. Let me shout out Blue Raven. Blue Raven is going to be coming back to streaming soon. That was a hat that Blue Raven actually made. Uh, he does everything. He crochets. He does graffiti art. He does. He makes gift tags, gift cards. Um, he's in the process of building a foam board house. He plays music of all sorts. You name it. Sorry, typing too fast. I meant to say teaching. I need to slow my mind down. As too many things in mind. Nope, that's fine. You're you're all right. Spelling does not count here on this stream. But yes, everybody go and check out Blue Raven. Um, he's going to be coming back to streaming, I think you said, next week. Um, lots of cool things that he does over on his channel. Let me bring the music back. Uh, yes, that is what he does. All of that, all, all what Blue Raven said. All right. Where were we? We were on row number five. So if everybody is ready, I've already changed up, chained up six and turned. Let me double check something real quick. No, wait, one, two, three, four. Hold on a second. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, we don't chain up six. So if you chained up six, don't chain up six. 
Uh, and he does that all while playing a kazoo. Uh, I don't know if Blue Raven plays the kazoo. I know that Spy Guy plays the kazoo. Uh, teach me the kazoo. Kazoo, pumpkins, and cross stitch. That's what I want. <laughs> um, back Monday the 12th. Yes, definitely go and um, keep an eye out for him. Follow him and tune in. Okay, where am I? So for row five, we're going to chain one and turn instead of chain six. We're chaining one. I got ahead of myself. So chain one and turn, and we're going to single crochet in our first stitch. Now, we're going to find our next stitch that's here. So skip the chains. And into this very next stitch, we're going to put in seven doubles. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Our next single crochet, we're skipping the chains. Our next single crochet gets a single crochet. Skip the chains, and our next single crochet gets seven double crochets. Two, three, four, Five, six, and seven. So to recap what I've done so far, I've chained one in our first stitch where that chain's coming out of, put in a single crochet, skip your chains, your next single gets seven doubles, skip your chains, your next single gets a single, skip your chains, your next single gets seven doubles, Repeat the process. Now, if you look, the, the fan here is staggered from the fans when we first started. So, if you can see that. When we first started, our fans were here. On this row, our fans are offset. So, they alternate. They're going to alternate back and forth. Wouldn't miss your return. I trust Crafty's recommendations. I actually work that day. Put in your iPads, so you can catch something. Very, very cool. Yes. And it's good that you can uh, watch streams while you work. So we did seven doubles into that stitch, skipping the chains. In our next stitch, put in a single. Skip our chains. In our next stitch, put in seven doubles. Thank you for the lurk action. I appreciate that. Just don't catch chlamydia. Oh, ooh, fairy dust. Three, four, five, six, and seven. And when you get to the end, there's a single crochet at the very end. That single crochet gets a single crochet. I hope that row makes sense. Again, if I went too fast, I can walk you through that row. You seem like trouble. Yeah, oh, you have no idea. Fairy dust definitely has trouble. Big time. With a capital T. <laughs> So that was row number five. We still have to do six, seven, and eight. And then we can repeat further from there. We're ready for row number six. Again, I'm going too fast.
We're going to chain up. Now we're going to chain up six for this row. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you look at the row below, like the section below, this big open space, that's what we're basically doing. We're chaining up to form this. So we chain six and turn. And we're gonna skip three double crochets of our fan. Two, three. We're gonna find the middle one of our fan and put in a double crochet. Kind of like what we did back down here. We're doing the same thing, but everything's all, like offset. Instead of doing our first double into a single, we're doing our first double on the top of our fan. Everything's just off a little bit. So now we're gonna chain three, double into our single, which is between our valley, but our between our hills in the valley. Chain three, and then double into the middle stitch of our fan. Chain three. Double crochet in the valley. What I mean in the valley, that single crochet that's between the fans. Chain three. Beginning of the row is chain six. Yes. Again, I was I go I go pretty fast, so I need to slow down. So yeah, you chain six and then double crochet into that middle stitch of your fan. Because that chain six is going to be a chain three, and then the beginning part of your chain six is a double crochet. Because that will form the edge of your, your piece. So double into the top of the fan, chain three, double into the single between the fans. Chain three, double into the middle, the top of the fan, chain three into the stitch between the fans. And you're going to do that all the way to the end, and when you get to the very end, I'll show you what we do. So I chain three. I'm going to double into the top of my fan. I'm going to chain three. I'm at the end now. All we're going to do is double into that single crochet that's there at the end. That ending part is real easy. And that's all there is to row number six. Now you can see this shape happening. It's this leaf shape. It's called, it's the fan, and then these all these rows of chains below it, and this is like a stem. I'm not going to make this sample as long as I made the yellow one as my example, but I'm going to keep going. We're not even done the, the repeat yet. We'll go for a bit. And I can wait until everyone catches up. I need to get more beverage here soon. <laughs> I didn't even ask this. Um, there was so much chaos going on in the beginning of the stream, but how is everybody, what is everybody working on? I had to write down a list of all of the projects I have because I'm getting a little overwhelmed with all the different things I've got going. And there's certain things I have to have done by certain time. I'm on a time constraint on some things. Let me double check the... Let me double check my book real quick. I might have transcribed my pattern a little wrong. Oh, okay. I'm going to change the number. Got the second sleeve of the sweater started today. Currently in the decrease portion, the end is in sight. Very, very cool. And welcome in throw in stitches.
you know, change up my pattern a bit, but that's fine. Still working the baby blanket almost halfway through the third section. Very nice. I, that both of that, um, I don't, Thurman says, I don't know if you've posted a picture of your sweater. I know somebody posted pictures of sweaters. But that blanket fairy dust, I really, really like. I need to, some point on stream, do a mosaic pattern. Not yet. You will when you're finished. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything mosaic right now because I've got other things that I need to work on and plan out first. Bit chaotic looking at the moment. Oh, well, of course. Oh, I know how that is. My, my temperature blanket behind me is looking chaotic. All right, so row number seven and row number eight are the same as row three and four. These are the easy rows. So you're going to chain one and turn. Single crochet into that stitch on the edge. Chain three. Single crochet in the top of your double. If I can actually make the stitch, the Crafty Cub does get, um, does have issues with stitching sometimes. We're going to chain three, do a single on the top of the double, chain three, single on the top of the double, and you're going to do that all the way to the end. row seven. When you get to the very end, you're going to find that chain six that you had, and you're going to count up from the bottom to the third chain. One, two, three, and into the third chain, you're going to put in a single. Th yeah, this is a fun stitch. It's a variation of the fans, because all February long, we're doing fan-related stitches. This is called the dock stitch. Every time I look at my work and see all those damn ends, just reinforces my plan to do an envelope border and hide. Yeah. But again, I'm the opposite. I love weaving in ends. I'm going to have a field day weaving in all those ends because I've got ends that have to be weaved in probably since June. Originally, when I was doing that temperature blanket, I was weaving in my ends every month. Well, that, that went out the window. So that was row that was row seven. Row eight is identical. You're gonna chain one and turn. And welcome in, unicorn farts. I'm sorry, I didn't greet you. Chain one and turn, and then the first stitch gets a single. We're gonna chain three, single into the single. Am I having problems? Chain three. Single into the single. It's going to be 402 ends. No, ma'am, not this fella. <laughs> Chain three. Single into the single stitch. Chain three. Single into the single. And we're just going to keep going to the end. Two, three. Single into the single. Two, three, single in to the single. So that was rows seven and eight. Those are the easy rows on this pattern. And I can wait until we do row number nine. I don't want to confuse everybody more than I've probably confused everyone. Again, um, I mentioned this beginning of the stream. Anybody who's coming in, um, in the Discord, in the events channel, I have posted a bunch of links for um, items. If anybody wants to participate 
along with me at the end of the month when we do our Baltimore stream on the 25th of February. It's a Sunday. Um, again, we're doing our Maryland, our anything Maryland related at the end of each month. Um, this month is Baltimore. And there are some items that if you want, want to join in and, and kind of participate along with me. Um, most of them are Amazon links, so you can get most things all in one um, order. There's one item that's not on Amazon. Um, some of the things you might be able to get locally, like the Old Bay seasoning, you could pretty much find that in any grocery store in the nation, and probably in not, not every in the world, but you could find it somewhat available everywhere. Um, and we'll be eating some yummy goodies tasting some things that are native here to my area. And we're going to be doing that throughout the year. I'm going to try, not not every, not every um, um, what do you call it, Maryland stream is going to be, going to have something that you can eat, but I'm going to try to incorporate that where I can um, as the year goes on. So I want it to be interactive. All right. So yes, go take a look at that if you want. Um, I need to gather up the items that I'm going to be having on stream. You're already already okay. So for round number nine, and round number nine is the last row of the repeat. It's actually a seven row repeat, I think, um, or six row number math um anyway we're gonna keep going oh no problem so row number nine is going to be a lot like our very first row so we're gonna chain up three and turn into that same stitch that 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 turning chain came out of we're gonna put in three doubles so one two and three. So that chain up three counts as a double, and then those other threes obviously are doubles. So we have four doubles there. That's half of a fan. After we do that, in our single crochet, gets a single crochet. So to recap, we chained up three in turn, in that same stitch where that chain three comes out of, put three doubles. And then in our single crochet, again, you're going to skip over all of those chains. In our single, we put in a single. And after we put in the single, we're going to skip over our chains. And in the next single, get seven doubles, putting in another fan. Two, three, four, five, and six. After we put in those seven doubles, our next single gets a single. I look at it this way. Anytime I do fans, you are going to skip X amount of chains, or X amount of stitches. And to anchor the edge, the edges of the fan in place, you usually do a single on each end to keep it fan shaped. So we did a single into the single into the. We're going to skip the chains in our next single. Seven doubles. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. And our next single gets a single. And when you get to the very end, skip up your chains again. The very last stitch is a single. In that single gets four doubles. One, two, three, and four. 
and that is how you do row number nine. Row number nine is basically the same as row number one. Instead, row number one, you're working into your foundation chain, but it's the exact same stitches. Now you can see, let me get my pointer. You can see that the, this row down to here are forming these leaf, leaf or flower shapes. And here's like the stem. So you got three across, one, two, three. But this row here, still form the, these rows here, the, this section here, you're still forming the same thing, but you have two poles. And then on either side, you have half of a, of a flower because they alternate. They kind of nest into each other, if you look at it that way. So it is complicated, but it's really not too complicated. Posted two, one of one of two pictures you're going to try to teach on Monday. Okay, we'll check that in a second here. Just want to make certain that um anybody who's stitching along is caught up on this. Welcome in, Raiders. How are you? Welcome in. What were you working on? What were you doing? Um, I am the Crafty Cub. Mostly crochet on the stream, but we do other fiber arts. Um, I'm teaching a, a stitch. We, we do education here on the stream. Um, Tuesdays is Teaching Tuesdays. I fa find a crochet stitch that is interesting and is fun, and I try to teach it live. On stream, um, I also teach it any other time that I'm streaming. So anybody can, if they have a question about crochet, regardless of what I'm doing, I'll put down what I'm working on, pick up some a ball of yarn and a hook or a dirty hook, because we are the home of the dirty hookers. And I try to teach the technique that somebody might have a question on. So how are you, Woodcraft by Owen? What were you working on? I'm assuming um, some woodcraft, woodcrafting. Um, if you have anything that you would like to share, if you have like an Instagram link, um, pop it into the chat. Links are open. Um, love to see what you were working on. And hey there, Colleen. How are you? Um, I recognize your name from other streams. So I've seen you around. Um, but, uh, that is what we're doing tonight. We are, we are learning, um, you're good. You, 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 you mod for MoCo. Love Team MoCo. <laughs> um, proud MoCo Loco here. And a few other art craft streamers. Very, very cool. Like I said, we are learning. I'm teaching this stitch called the Dock Leaf Stitch. Uh, we do other things on the stream. Let me show real quick some of the stuff that we have done in the past. This is another project I'm working on. It's red. I know it doesn't show up that well. But this is going to be, it's called the Sweetheart Soiree Doily. It's, there are hearts that are going to be formed. When I get done the um, stitch tonight on stream, um, I'm going to be working more on this piece. We do blankets. Um, let me move. Let me just do this real quick. Ignore the hideous background. But this blanket here is... A temperature blanket that I started in the beginning of 2023. I'm almost done. I've got about 21 or so more rows to go. Um, I make blankets for Project Linus, which is a nonprofit. What else do we do? We do doilies. Um, I've learned needle tatting. I've done that a bunch. Done a little bit of needle point. We're doing that tomorrow. Um, yeah, all that different stuff. Mainly trying to, to not lose things today, <laughs> but working on some wood and resin pendants. Ooh. Um, um, Woodcraftbyowen.co.uk has some of the things I've made before. All right, we're going to go and take a look at this real quick. Okay, I'm just looking at your banner 
Oh. 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 Okay, you know what? Um, I'm giving you a follow. Uh, if Colleen doesn't mod for you, do you even stream? Uh, yes. Uh, you'll mod for Owen. Okay, alrighty here. So, we're going to go and take a look at this real quick. Um, this is gorgeous. Let me resize my... Let's, come on, come on. Let's see. Let's see some of the things that you have made. Look at these handmade wooden pens. I like them all. I like them. I don't know which one is my favorite. <laughs> oh, and the jewelry, the pendants, the resin with the wood. I've, I've, I've seen people do this before. That is gorgeous. Oh, what a handled seam ripper. Hmm. I know somebody who sews. They might be watching, but <laughs> those are really pretty. Wow. Um, Let's see. Let's look a little more into what, what you have. Oh, look at all that. Oh, look at this. This catches my eye. Um, hey there, Anna. How are you? Welcome in. Um, Notewood, what's your stance on King Sir? You know... I don't mind king syrup. We don't really get king syrup. But I think think I've had it when I was a kid, maybe once or twice. That's oh that's something I need to add. Well, anyway. 3D printed with resin cast. Oh. These are very pretty. Look at all of these. Okay, let's. What else do we have? Let yeah, let's look at the jewelry. You know, I I could probably spend all stream, um, looking at all this pretty stuff. Oh 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 oh, this one here. Look at that, everybody! Look at the pretty, look at all the pretty stuff. Oh, I like those. This one here at the top looks kind of almost like a mountain range. Tuned a few, turned, turned a few more of those tonight. Very, very, very. You are talented. I really like that. I love the uh, the different colors that are in there. Aurora's yes. Okay. Let's see what else do we have. Craft tools. I just want to look look at more of the stuff that you have. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. You have crochet hooks? Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Now you're talking. <laughs> I'd be really fancy if I had uh one of these hooks. Wood handled seam rippers are gorgeous. All of ours are seam ripper. All of the seam rippers I've had, my go-to is a plastic handle. Got it Woolworths for 50 cents. <laughs> oh, and they're the interchangeable ones. Ooh. Okay. You know what? Woodcraft by Owen, you, you're dangerous. You're dangerous. <laughs> oh, I really like this one. I really, really like this. That one. Um, seam rippers. Oh, that's pretty. Purple heart. Yes, purple heart is really pretty. Okay, I can, I can spend hours looking at your site. All right, thank you very much for sharing that and rating me. Um, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna bookmark that. Um, 
your site, and I'm definitely going to have to look at it. Um, again, thank you very much um, for, for the raid. If you need to raid and run and do after stream care, I totally understand. Let me catch up with, um, with chat. Eating French toast, just thought of it. Yeah, it's a, 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 a once a while um, thing. Yes. Uh, what no word is talking about is king syrup. It is basically pretty much corn syrup. And it's a Baltimore thing. And um, a lot of a lot of people here put it on their pancakes or French toast. Um, I got Bray Crochet one for Christmas. The counter stitches as she goes with interchangeable heads. A crocheter's dream. Well, very cool. Um, and following along, Master Cub. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, coming up to 1 a.m., time for beauty, beauty sleep. Yes, get get some sleep, Woodcraft by Owen. I have followed you, and I'm going to try to uh, tune into your stream when the next time you are on. And like I said, I'm going to look at that website. Again, anybody who um, came in on the raid, uh, I am the Crafty Cub, and we are learning how to do the Dock Leaf Um, we're learning how to do the dock leaf stitch. And thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. I uh, just got to work. The best way to spend the day with Master Crafty. I don't know about that. Okay, where was I? Okay, so that was row number nine. And then you're going to repeat rows two through eight. Meaning, well, two, actually rows two through nine. Meaning... This row here where you chain up um, six and then you double into here, chain three, double, chain three, double, to make this, what I'm calling the stem row, it causes, it causes, creates these stems. And then you do the next two rows, which are the chain three, single, chain three, single, and so on. Those are the easy ones. And then you do the fan row, which is fan separated by chain ones. And then the next, you just keep going. So the next one would be similar type as this row here. You chain up six and you do your double into the top of your fan and things just offset by one. Hopefully that made sense. I probably confused everybody. But um, that is the dock leaf stitch. Very pretty. Is it possible to do this in multiple colors? Yes. Um, what did actually anything? Anything's possible. Anything is possible. It's crochet. But um, let me see. I think they mentioned something about in the book. A suggestion for multiple colors. Um, or maybe not. Three rows of chain. I don't think the fault need to be worked over a large enough air to accommodate the heat row. Repeat will be a more fine yarn. But yeah, I don't think it would. You would have a problem. What I would do is. The stem row. Yes, yes. Um, dock. I think dock is a flower, is a, a plant and a flower, and I think it's supposed to imitate the leaf of it. Um, too bad you don't crochet. <laughs> what I would do is this row here, the stem row, that forms this from here to the top of the fan, the fan row. I would do in one color, and then the next segment the stem row up to the fan, I would do in a different color. So you could alternate. So imagine this section here is one color, and then this is a different color. That's what I would do. So it kind of mimics a leaf or a fan, or, or a flower. Yep, like I said, all of the um, Teaching Tuesdays are going to be based around fans for the month of um, 
February. So uh, I think we're gonna switch over to can't switch color between the stump. Yeah, yeah, you can you can you can with crochet you can change color anywhere you want. You can do it anywhere you want. I mean, you could do that. You could do um, this one row, one color, and then the next three rows, a different color. Yeah, you can change. I mean, if technically, to be honest, each stitch could be a different color. I mean, that'd be a lot of ends to weave in and a lot of work, but that is possible. It's not going to be fun to do that. Um, where, uh, where was I? We're going to switch over to the doily, and I'm sorry that I used red. Oh, shit your pants? Why? Don't, no, don't, don't shit your pants. And if you do, don't tell us about it. Um, <laughs> we're going to work more on this sweetheart soiree. I've, again, I've practiced my French out of excitement. Now, I know that. <laughs> All right, what row, I got to think, got to double check what row, what round, not row. See, I was working on rows, and I call them rounds, and I'm working on rounds, and I'm calling them rows. Uh, let me check my pattern. I have one worse, one here. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, I'm afraid, no, it would. Okay, we have done round 12. Of how many rounds? Of 23. So we're about halfway done. I want to get this done by Thursday. Because Valentine's Day is next Wednesday. So I want to get this worked on. So that's why I'm doing it tonight. I will also do this on Thursday. When we do um, Throwback Thursday. In good time? Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, and note what, I had, I don't know if you were here, I mentioned it a couple times, and this won't be a problem for you, because you're a native. Um, in the events section of my Discord, I posted some links for some Maryland-themed products. Um, actually, I can go over them real quick. Um, oh, sorry, Blue Raven posted something in Discord. I'm sorry, Blue. Completely forgot. Uh, thank you, Cup. I'm going to do one more row of the stitch, and then you show me. Yeah, definitely. Okay, this is from Blue Raven. First attempt at drawing since I left school in 2004. That was 20 years ago. Let's not count. Let's not do math. I did that sim summer type math, and my number is a lot is larger than your number. But um, Blue Raven's going to teach us how to draw when he comes back from. Comes back to streaming on uh, Monday. So this is Donald Duck. I, You know what? I would love to watch this. I'm definitely going to have to watch it. I wouldn't even know where to begin. I can't draw a stick, fig stick figure. But this is great, great work, Blue. Maybe one day. Maybe one day I might learn how to draw. Thank you very, very much. Wait till you see what you're doing now. Oh, I'm a, I'm afraid. I am a, definitely afraid of what you're doing now. Uh, Anna says, Jason, I've been wanting to make a tapestry, but nervous to start. Just, yeah, do it. Do it. Just practice. I, I've i done it. I'm not a fan of tapestry crochet because it takes forever. But the finished look is great, especially what, he, what he's done with this rabbit piece. All right, we're going to go, and I'm going to mention the stuff that I have posted over on the Discord. This is stuff, if anybody wants to purchase, if you're able to get Amazon, or if you're able to get these, I know it could be difficult to some people who live out of the country. Uh, I don't know how readily available these things are. Um, for the... Maryland stream on the 25th, the end of the month. 
I'm going to be having these items here. I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to going to be taste testing them. Some of them I've, I know how they taste. Some I haven't had in years. A couple of them, I really don't like them, but I'm still going to get them and show, show them off. Um, so these are some things that um, if you want, you can participate along with us. So the first thing is, oh, okay. First thing is Old Base Seasoning. So um, this is a seasoning that we put on everything here in Maryland, but mainly seafood, but other stuff too. So that is uh, something that is relatively easy to get. Um, um, you can get this all over the world, actually. It might be difficult in some countries, but I know... Um, you can find this in Europe and parts of Asia. So it is a McCormick spice product. So we'll be talking about that. Um, another thing that I have is a item called, um, these are vanilla caramel creams. Um, the brand name is Goats. Yes, it's pronounced Goats. So that is a Baltimore thing. Um, Where's the next thing? Um, this this item here is not specifically Baltimore, but this with a lemon. I know it sounds weird, a peppermint stick, but you want the soft type peppermint sticks, soft type peppermint stick with a lemon. We're gonna do um, a Baltimore lemon stick, which I haven't had in years. I'm excited for that. So you can get a lemon locally, obviously. I mean, it's a lemon. But you want the sweet, the soft um, type of peppermint stick to go along with that. Um, there is this here. Uh, bur burger cookies. They're not my favorite. Uh, this is not on Amazon. This is something you're going to... You can get this on Amazon, but you're going to have to get $60 worth. But... I don't know if Burger shop ships internationally. That's the one thing I'm not certain of. So that's the part, that's the bad thing about things that are U.S. or whatever that maybe other parts of the country can't get. Um, couldn't imagine paying shipping from them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what's the last thing? Oh, and this last one is not necessarily. A Baltimore only thing, but we have adopted it. Um, Utz potato chips. They are a Pennsylvania thing, but it's pretty much Maryland's potato chip because it just is. This is the original flavor. If anybody, um, like I said, is gonna purchase things along with with me uh, for this, um, I would suggest the original. It's pretty basic. It tastes really, really good. But it's not, because everybody doesn't like all the different flavors. But they have a wide range of flavors. So like I said, those are some things that um, I thought it would be cool to have an interactive thing if anybody wanted to. Let me close up these tabs. Let me catch up with chat. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, Colleen says, no tapestry crochet pieces are easier. They're easy, just lots of color changes in order, depending on the design. Yes. Um, you took Old Bay with you to Korea. Uh, it's fun once you get the hang of it. It's almost like drawing. Yes, it is like drawing. I think I'm worried to be lost in the amount of colors. And a lot of yarn. A lot of yarn getting tangled. Yes. Cue it up one day. The end product looks it's good. Um... Uh, picking all said you get the, should get the original and the sour cream and onion. Yes. My favorite is the salt and vinegar, but I'm a salt and vinegar fanatic. I love anything tangy and tart and sour. Um, start with a simple... Okay, this is from Col Colleen to Anna. Start with a simple design. Lily Bjorn has a great instruction on how with a simple pillow to start. Huh. Yeah, um... If you want, Colleen, I don't know if you're part of my Discord. You can either post a link here in chat, or if you if you want to join the Discord, you can post it in the um, 
the pattern section. That would be, uh, be pretty cool. Oh, we're going to go and have another ad. Ordering the salt and vinegar now. I love that flavor. But you've never, oh, you've never had the Utz version? It's so much better than the other brands. But I'm biased. We're going to go and do an ad break. I need to get something um, to drink. Can you wonder if you can get Otterbein's. You probably can. I didn't want to have too many things on that list. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely post it in the Discord. Okay, we're going to go and do a um, a little break. I need to get something to drink. Everybody do some self-care. And when we get back, I'm going to work on this doily. I need to get more of it done before next week.
Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully, everybody took that time, that little break, to uh, do some self-care. I went and got some more uh, beverage. And I'm trying to open up the loop on this piece here. Okay. Oh, I didn't do the thing. Let me do the thing. Let me enable that. So this piece I'm working on is called the Sweetheart Soiree Doily. It is a free pattern um, by the website Dryaguna. I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, this is definitely a, an advanced crochet pattern. I'm even having some difficulty doing it myself. So uh, keep that in mind if you attempt to do this. But it will hopefully look like what is above my head when it's done. We'll see. All right. I'm not teaching this because I don't have the energy or the strength to teach this. Okay. Chain six. And I am using um, size 10 crochet cotton thread. And what size hook am I using? If I can even read that, let me get my, I have to use a magnifying glass for this, just to read the hook. Oh, a 1.9 millimeter hook. So, not the smallest, but definitely a small hook. Oh, I didn't even show this. I'm going to show up my, my yarn haul. I did another haul today. I had another $5 rewards thing from Michaels. So, got to give me $5. So, I'm going to use free, um, use some free money. Um, so I'm going to use the money that they're giving me. So I ended up getting a, um, thing of crochet thread in this light blue color. I think I have one of every color, well, not every shade, but one of every color. So I didn't have any blue, blue. So I got some light blue. This will look really good on, um, stream. And then I got, didn't have any orange, so I got some orange. So that was my my little haul. So one of these was free. So I have every color of the rainbow now. And uh, I just got to get to work and either crochet or tap with them. Oh, hey there, Knitter Girl. Didn't even see that. I'm sorry. Let me double check something. We love, yes, we love colors. Um, actually, I think I posted in general the other day, my wall, yes. Um, this is my wall of crochet thread. So those are the colors I have, and then the blue and the orange that I got today. So that's relatively close. I can look over and see what I have. So, oh, 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 wrong, wrong thing. Let's move that out of the way. All right. Oh, I need to adjust my light because this is dark red. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. It doesn't really want to show up that well because of the color. Sorry, everyone. Ah. Two, three, four, five, six. Counts as a double and a chain three space. Double in the same stitch. Double there, okay. 
chain three. One, two, three. So what is everyone up to? Two front post, double crochet decrease around the next two. Wait, what? Next two stitches. Every color right now sounds like a pride oily for me. <laughs> well, I do have some um, rainbow color thread. Maybe I might do that. Maybe I might do that for June. Okay. Somehow, I bought three projects to work. Wow. You're working on a tapestry blanket. I've got to pay attention. I gotta, well, not pay attention. Well, pay attention, but I gotta. This pattern. This pattern. Two together. Bear with me. So there's that. Did I do this right? Did I even do this right? I think I did. Um, expect to be severely bored. Do you want me to post in whips or to your dear? Um, I'm not certain what your um, asking me, Blue Raven, to decrease over two stitches using front post stitches. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I know how. Uh, yeah, I know how to do a decrease, a front post double decrease. But I got to double. Got to make certain I'm going into the right stitches. That's what. What I need to. Um, Pay attention to see if I did the previous round correctly. I don't know if I did or not. I probably didn't. I don't want to frog this out. More like I couldn't decide what I wanted to work on today. Oh, I know how that is. We're just gonna, we're gonna fudge it. God, we really are fudging it because I can't. Post it on whips. If I had color, I'd probably do a better job. Okay, I'll check that in a second. At least you haven't pulled one of the tricks where you take your yarn and notions but forget to bring a hook. Uh, Fairy Dust, do you know that from experience? There's that. We're probably going to fudge this. Oh, thank you for shouting out Anna. I hope I'm doing this in the right spot. I don't know. I just I hope this doesn't turn into a piece that I'm just going to end up frogging. The next two. Wait, 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 wait. I 
I'm having some issues reading this pattern. It's not the best pattern. It is definitely not the best pattern. Two, three. I get that part. I have that confused look on my face. I'll check. I'll catch up with chat in one second. There. There. We're going to go around like that. Like that. We're going to go around. I'm almost tempted to say to heck with this pattern because this is really complicated. And I can do complicated patterns. This almost might break me. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. Oh, that go. That's not gonna work. And also does like I said, doesn't help that I'm using red thread that I can't see. Yeah, I'm gonna keep at it. Really, I need to do it in a lighter color and maybe a thicker thread. Just where they want me to put the stitches don't really seem. Wait a minute. Wait, there's three there. I need to use the magnifying glass. You, sh you put the dock leaf on the Discord? Okay, I'll check that in one second. Bear with me, everyone. I think this... This pattern might be something I might have to do off stream with the aid of my magnifying glass because I can see everything with this magnifying glass. Okay, now I really, I can't unfrog the, the stitch. Like, what did I do? Like, I tried to pull the thread. Okay, now I got it. That really got in there. I know this is great, thrilling content. <laughs> okay. You know what? This is what we're going to do. I'm going to have to end up working on this off stream because I have to use the magnifying glass. And if I use the magnifying glass, all you're going to see is that. And that is so cute. You're still in all. Yes, it is cute. <clears throat> I'm not ready for it tonight, but we will do other stuff tonight. I am going to do something simple. Well, something a little more simple. Um, yes. <laughs> when you get to be my age, and I'm not that old, but when you get to be my age, sometimes the magnifying glass and the reading glasses need to be used in conjunction. Okay, we're going to put that off to the side.
Where is my scrap? Oh, yeah. We're going to switch scenes. Oh, we are not doing the butterflies. Where is the butterflies? Let's move the butterflies. That is not where I wanted to move the butterflies to. There. Where is... Oh. That. It's right here. We're going to do some needle tatting. This I can actually do. This, believe it or not, is easier for me. <laughs> if you are not familiar with what tatting is, tatting is a form of lace making. And I can show you some of the things that I've done. I've only recently gotten into needle tatting or tatting period. Um, I've only been doing it for a little over a month. Oh, I got in threads everywhere. So this piece is my, oh, we're gonna do, I'm a bad streamer. I'm a bad, horrible streamer because people said that there were um, things posted. I am so sorry, everyone. Um, Let's go and take a look at the Discord. Try first try graffiti since March last year. Don't have any Blue Raven. Wow, that is so cool. Wow, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. Well, thank you. That that's pretty cool. He did my uh, my streamer name in uh, in graffiti art. I really like that. Let me see. Actually, let's do it some justice and let's make it larger so we can all see what he has done. I like that a lot, Blue. Yeah. Isn't that sick? Wow, that is pretty cool. He does it all. He He's also an Ami artist. He made his first Ami, or is in the process of his first um, Amigurumi. Um, like I said, he does graffiti art. He does music. He does... Um, he makes um, gift tags, gift, bo um, gift boxes. He's making a foam board house. That house is really cool looking. Yeah. Very, very creative. Very great. Thank you very much, Blue. And not only that, he's also a pretty good mod. Wow. All right. This is from JP. Uh, first attempt at the dock. This is what he, what he was doing while I was teaching the stitch. That looks perfect. That looks wonderful. And I can see how your uh, your fans are puffy, but that has to do with tension. And I like, I like that color green. That would actually probably work really good for this this pattern because it is supposed to be a leaf. It kind of, it the wet, with the green and it being puffy, I actually like them being puffy because they actually look like trees. Now my tension. Tension is tight. Oh, no. No, that no, that's it's great. I mean, I, I, I'm a very tight stitcher to begin with, but that's something you're gonna learn in in time as you go along to doing those types of stitches. But yeah, that's this looks like either trees and we'll go up a hook size. Yes, yes, that great idea. I don't know why I thought of that, uh, Colleen. Yes, go up a hook size to um to help with that. But um, like I said, this looks like trees or, and this is actually a cool thing. It kind of looks like broccoli. Um, 
very, very cool. So many skilled and talented people. It does, yeah, it doesn't look like broccoli. Not one want broccoli. <laughs> okay, thank you everybody for sharing. Again, I need to get better at going and doing the shares when people say that they've put stuff over in the Discord. All right, like I was saying, uh, hook size on your yarn labels are just recommendations. So use the size that gives you the look you want. What you said, I say this all the time. Um, in other people's streams, and also on some Facebook groups, crochet Facebook groups I belong to, people are stuck on using the hook that is on the label. No. And I last year I did a, a video, and I don't, uh, actually, uh, this is a really good, good example. I'm all over the place tonight. I did a video, basically yarn 101, anything you can think about, know about yarn, and reading labels and talking about gauge and all of that. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see this. You're not going to be able to see it that well at all. Okay. Anyway, believe me, there right here is it shows a hook. This is a size four worsted weight yarn, and it shows a hook that says a five millimeter. It's only saying that because of what is written around it. This is a gauge, okay? This is the recommended gauge for this yarn. If you use a size five millimeter, five and a half millimeter hook, and you do 12 single crochets and 15 rows, they should be approximately four inches by four inches with that hook. If you do that same stitch count, 12 stitches by 15 rows, and you don't get four inches by four inches, you might want to change your hook size up or down accordingly. Yeah, a lot of people just say, oh, five, five and a half millimeter, that's the one I have to use. No, you use whatever will work for the project you're working on. Um, you renamed it the broccoli stitch. Yes. Uh, I think it looks puffy because that's the back of the stitches. That is also a good point. That is a good point, um, fairy dust. That could be. Love seeing your work as you go. Yeah. No, I enjoy. I enjoy um, seeing everybody's work and showing what I've made. Your gauge is really important when doing clothing. Yes. Yes. Oh, you're off to bed, Blue Raven. All right. Thank you very much. You have a good, good sleep. And again, that graffiti piece was amazing. But yes, um, everybody go follow Blue Raven. And uh, you have a good, good night sleep. But yeah, what Colleen said, gauge is really important for things that have to be a certain exact size, like clothing. You can get away with not caring about gauge too much when you're making blankets and scarves because if it's off by a little bit it's not going to be the end of the world but like a sweater that's going to make a big difference all right like i was saying tatting is a form of lace making and i just learned recently learned how to do it a little over a month ago I have been inspired by the Traveling Tatter here on um, Twitch. Where is... She does shuttle tatting. She uses a shuttle like this. And it's the same thing. It makes the exact same thing. It's just a different tool. With shuttle tatting, you're basically forming the thread between your fingers like a loom. And you're weaving in and out to form the knots. Needle tatting. You're forming everything on the needle. Either one, it's an extension of your thread. But these are some of the things that I've made. So that is that was my very first piece. So I did that. Then I did this piece. This one was cool. I think this is my second piece, I think. Um, this piece is actually meant to go over a Christmas ornament. Or an Easter ornament. Whatever ornament. It, the one they showed was pastel pink it looked like an easter ornament 
So the or the 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 hanger part would go through here, and you would pin it down to a satin ornament ball. And then the other things I've made are these little squares. These squares are a pattern from the 1880s, I think. What else have I done? I've done butterflies. I've done all different types of things. So I'm learning a new technique with uh, needle tatting. It's called a split ring. And I'm just going to be practicing. I don't think I need the crochet hook for this. But yeah, if anybody has anything that they want to post in the Discord, always feel free to do that. And we are going to... Two... Three... No, that's three. I'm just going to practice. Four... Five... And with the split ring, you're forming these rings. And with a normal ring, if you form the ring and you close it up, you're not going to be able to do like a line of rings in a row like this has. So you have to do a sp split ring. So you do half on one side, half, half the ring on one, and half on the other. So slightly different with needle tatting than it is with shuttle tatting. But like I said, I've been inspired to learn how to do this. Um, I need, I haven't touched it in a while. I need to get back to shuttle tatting. I need to practice more. It's been weeks since I've done that. And I've got a knot. It's always, always a knot, always something with me. Okay. Need to take my thread off my needle for this point. And this is the same thread that I was attempting to do the doily with. Um, it's cotton crochet thread. There is tatting thread to do this exact same thing. Two, three, four, five. I need to come up with a pattern of something to do on stream on April 1st. The Traveling Tatters is orchestrating a uh, raid train that day. That's International Tatting Day. And anybody who tats and streams um, can sign up when sign up is available. Um, in fact, let me shout her out. She's actually streaming at the moment. She's another Moco Loco. That was actually just the other day. She does a um, dragon pattern. She tats dragons. And I think her plan is one dragon a month for the... I think she started doing this a couple months ago. And the one she's working on now is this bronze-colored metallic thread. So, like I said, she's uh, going to be orchestrating a raid train on April 1st, which is International Tatting Day. And uh, I'm going to sign up, and I just got to find something to make for that hour for my, my portion of the raid train. 
don't know what I'm going to do yet. So I'm going to be looking at some patterns. Kind of have an idea of something I might do, but not a hundred percent certain yet. Turn. Everybody's doing a brand new dance now. Come on, baby, do the mocha lotion. <laughs> You know what, Fairy Dust? Do you follow the Mokos? Um, that would be pretty funny. That would be pr be pretty funny if you were in their sh in their channel in their stream, and uh, and said that. That I like that. <laughs> that could be their uh, their theme song. <laughs> Did I just, no, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. Uh, you're a funny one. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. Hi, Gary. Welcome back. You do follow them. You have to do that one day. Yeah, you'll have to do that. <laughs> Sorry, I had to step out for a second. What are we doing? I am practicing, practicing split rings and needle tatting. It's a new technique. Again, I've been tatting for a little over a month. Needle tatting, that is. The new technique that I'm learning is the split ring. I know how to do a regular ring and a chain, and a bunch of the other things, but this is a little more advanced. But I'm trying to think ahead that if I wanted to do another, like a chain here, how can I do, how can I do, uh, this is um, crochet thread. The same things you make doilies out of. I don't live here a little while ago when I was attempting to do the, um, that doily that's above me, I'm doing it in red. I'm having an issue with the pattern. Um, it's the same type of thing. It's the really thin cotton thread. Um, this is actually on the thicker side. This is a size 10. Okay, little lesson. I do, again, I'm all about education. With yarn, with regular yarn, the larger the number, the thicker the thread or th thicker the yarn so um a size worsted weight four is a medium weight and if you go to like a jumbo yarn that's a seven it's thicker if you go to a lace weight that's a one so it's thinner well in um crochet thread the the scale goes the other way so the larger the number in thread the thinner the thread so i'm using a 10 they have ones that even go up to like 100 that's super super thin you make hacky sacks yes yes i'm uh, gonna get going but thank you for the class yeah definitely thank you i'm glad that you were here and thank you for uh um joining in with the uh the stitch i do that every tuesday is teaching tuesdays uh, so yes, good. You have a good evening, and I will chat with you later. And hopefully, I can uh, catch you when uh, when you stream. Uh, it's good to know. I know I bet no idea about the opposite for threads. Yes. Um, thank you for the follow, Becca Crochets. Welcome in. Um, I don't have it accessible right now. But this piece here, I was waiting for someone to do this one.
that scene cracks me up every time. Um, this piece here, it's it's thicker thread. I used a size three. You'll be not you? Oh, no, no. We don't want you to be not you. But yes, this is a thicker thread. It's a uh, a weight of um, a, uh, size three. So, scale the scale is opposite. You're not going to be you. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how to go, if I went to do a regular ring, how could I go back to a split ring? You know what? We can just try it. We can just try it. Okay. So I need to do a regular ring, but I got to work on this strand. So I have to reverse work. I think. I'm not an expert. That is like the shortest uh, clip that I have. <laughs> I got a bunch of other ones that are going to be um, in the works. So we will be having a lot more. I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to have to have some, them available in like in rotation. Because <clears throat> right now I don't know how many redeems I have. Tons and tons of clips. So I think I, may, I might have to limit and swap them out because there's so many great clips that I want to have. Okay, so I'm gonna do a ring. I want to get done. Yeah, I could do this. Yeah, because when I get done, it's all gonna be here and go to there. Hey there, Becca crochets. Um, I am practicing needle tatting. Um, needle tatting and shuttle tatting, and I mentioned this a little while ago, it is a form of lace making. I'm not going to get out all of these because that is just a pain. It uses um, cotton. It's also the, You can tat with other materials, um, mainly, usually cotton. Sometimes you can use some silk thread, um, and it makes lace. So I, this is a piece that I did. I'm just, just brand new to tatting for about a month or so. So that is um, a little pendant piece. It's the first piece I've done. This is some tatting. This square is a pattern from like the 1880s. And you're basically making knots and you're forming, the, forming rings and these chains to form these intricate patterns. And then these little loops on the outside, these are little picos. And... Um, like I said, shuttle tatting, you put your, th your thread on the shuttle and you weave and you make the knots. Needle tatting is you use a really long blunt tip needle. You're doing the same basic thing, it's just a different tool. And um, either the shuttle or the needle are basically extensions of the thread and it's, it's a relative of, mac of macrame. Almost a close, distant cousin to crochet, but closer to macrame. But it's a form of lace making. You can make doilies, you can make jewelry, you can make edgings for like um, handkerchiefs and nap and, and like cloth napkins and pillowcases and um, trim for clothing and all different types of things. Okay, so I need to have twelve. Yeah, I want a little bump there. That's what we're going to do. So I need 12 of these. Hopefully this is going to work out the way I want it to. Have a hard time with anything other than amigurumi. Ah, I'm relatively new to amigurumi. I've only done a few pieces. Two. Three. Um, if at any time, and I don't have, actually, oh wait, I wait, why is temperature blanket up there? 
Okay, I shouldn't have the temperature blanket. This is not the temperature blanket. This is the tatting. Um, mostly I crochet on stream. We crocheted a little while ago. Um, let me show. Earlier tonight, we did this pattern. I taught how to do this stitch pattern. Um, and at any time, if you, anybody has any questions about crochet, regardless of what I'm doing, I can put stuff down and pick up a ball of yarn and try to teach or show how to do a technique. So feel free to ask if you have any questions. My stream is all about education. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, and twelve. Could I do it? Yes, but I don't have the extension span to do it. Yeah. Again, but this is different. This is um. This is tatting. This is definitely different than crochet. And believe it or not, it's actually somewhat easier because you're not going into a specific stitch with a hook. You're, you're tying knots around your needle. So I kind of find it somewhat easy-ish. I mean, learning it took me a while. Well, it took me a few days, but once I figured out the basics, it made sense, it clicked in my head. I'm making a simple ring. Cubs should make a king size blanket with tatting. You know what? I would do that before I would crochet a blanket in slip stitch, like you had mentioned at one time, because you're a little uh, sadistic. <laughs> okay, what I just did there is oh, that was that was horrible. That was horrible. That was horrible. I gotta I gotta. Mm, that was that was not a good ring. That was not a good ring. Um, let me pick this the stitch out. That actually was able to pick out real easy, and I gotta. Pick out the next one. Now, I'm going to take all of that out. It does take some time. To remove the stitch. Stitches. Because I didn't have that the way that I wanted it to. All right. Come on. I got to get this all out, and I probably have to do one more stitch or so. I got to remove. No, nope, I got one more. And it doesn't help that my thread is super, super long, but this is some scrap thread that I have. And, uh, all right, we fixed that. Now I gotta re-thread my needle. And try that all over again, and hopefully I can get the elements next to each other. I got fuzz in my eye. 
of my needle, not my actual eye. Let's try this one more time. It's this very first stitch that I make that's crucial. So that's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. My goodness, I've accumulated some redeem points. I bet you have. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> So you redeem one point. <laughs> okay, that's still loose. Okay, we're gonna re we can easily redo it just by removing the needle. Okay, let's try this. That scared me. You scared me. One. <laughs> Three, five, six. You have thirty thousand redeem. Oh Lord, six, seven, eight. Hey, Nora Fairy, welcome in again. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Oh, oh I haven't mentioned her. That was Granny Karen Cakes Marino. She takes over my stream every other Thursday. Um, you're saving up for Granny. Alrighty. Um, she takes over my stream every other 30 sh Thursday. She's an elderly feisty lady. She does some vintage crochet pieces. So um, I don't have anything close at hand that she has made. I'll have to get that. But yes, go and check her out. Um... You're welcome, MS Creates. Yeah, definitely. Your um your emotes are super adorable as usual. And I was telling everybody, I don't know if you heard, I was telling everybody you must go follow you. They must. They must, must, must. Not not suggesting. I am gently demanding. <laughs> um whoa, whoa. Thank you for shouting out uh MS Creates again. Um Great, whimsical, cute. The, the art style is so adorable and cute. And you will see puppy dogs. Puppy dogs will make an appearance on stream. Thank you, Knitter Girl, for shouting out MS Creates. Uh, 30,000. You're not frugal with them. How the heck you still got that many? Yeah. He's probably somehow figured out how to steal channel points. I put my meager crochet blanket project in your Discord. Oh, Norfairy has a uh, a share. I'll check that in one second. 
I'm saving for the donkey song because I don't know what it is, but it's 10k. Did you already do it? We did Discord, and I'm gonna. I can do Discord at any time. Uh, welcome back, Clay. I uh, need to make an imagey to look like biscuits and great. Anyway, we had it last night, so it's fine. Um. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Alrighty. Um. Okay. We're gonna do this Discord share. Nora Fairy, that is pretty. This is what Nora Fairy is working on. Uh, what stitch is this, if you remember? I love the colors. I very much love the colors. I like that blue. Blue, and that even though it's not next to it, the blue and the dark brown pop out. Like, stand out for me. You're just there for a few minutes? Okay. Uh, Cobb needs some love. What? What? What are you, what? What are you talking about, Gary? Um, it's from the crochet book Clay has. Anchored fan or something. Oh, okay. That ties into um what I'm doing on Tuesdays here on the stream. We're doing variations of fan stitches. Yeah, I really like that. Very, very cool. Oh, wait, is that the only... Oh, oh, I think somebody's typing something. Yep, I saw it. I saw it. Uh, we got some V-Day squish, Squishmallows inspired plushies from Anna. Look at that. That is cute. Is Okay. Is this... A, when I see this, I see a pig. I don't know what this is supposed to be exactly. I I would say it's a pig. Uh, Clay says, um, what Norfairy's working on is Karen Big Cakes. Okay. Um, so cute. See a bunny, a dog. Give me anything you want, but it's a dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see the dog now, especially the ears. Okay. I'm thinking pig because of the nose and it pink, being pink. But that is so cute. And Anna, I love how you stick your arm out and you have your backdrop of your surrounding area. I, that that that's a cool, a cool way of uh, taking pictures of, of of your work. And let's see what else we have here. Uh I know what that is. That's an axolotl. The little I don't know what they call them. The whiskers. The little. They're not whiskers. They're the little feeler things on the out on the side. Looks like a poke. Yep, yeah, yeah, Pokemon. Yep. Very, very cute. Anna does great, great work. You're obsessed. <laughs> you know what it kind of looks like? Like Whooper? Uh I ask a lot of questions. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait. You ask a lot of questions. Uh, very, very nice. Thanks, everybody. I always love seeing what anybody, what everyone posts. Okay, let me move all of my tatting out of the way because it's in my way. I'm attempting to go from a split ring to a regular ring and then back to a split ring. We're going to see if this works. Do the thing. Uh, we're gonna have an ad here in about a minute. So everybody do some self-care. Um, I'm gonna do some stretching. Oh, picking halls, thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right, we're gonna attempt to pinch this and pull. Okay, I think I did it. That's going to be all right. It's going to be okay for me. Want an emotes like everyone else? <laughs> well, um, what are my sub emotes? I don't even know which, what emotes are subbed. Um, I think it's the... The balls of yarn, and I think the flashing 
Cub logo. I think those are the sub ones. I think all the other ones are for followers. I can never remember. It's been a while since I've done did all those. Um, everybody go and do some self-care. We will be back in about three minutes. Um, yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Let's catch up a chat. Uh, you need balls of yarn, the flashing. You need those. You don't. Knitter girl doesn't have subs. You get ads at the worst times. Yes, um, it is more expensive in Canada because of the exchange rate. And thank you. We got to flip back. I'm trying to do, I went from split rings to a regular ring to split rings. And I'm, hopefully this will work. I'm just practicing. I'm not following a pattern. I'm kind of making it up as I go along.
Optimus help me understand what a peer-reviewed journal article is. Um, basically, it is an article that has been reviewed, and I'm not being smart. It's an article that has been reviewed by um, fellow students and research, well, not, not students, fellow um, colleagues in your field. Um, you'll find that a lot in um, medical fields. You'll have peer-reviewed journal articles. Oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I think I did it. Oh, I, no, the one thing I didn't do. Then we have professionals and considered a more recordable source. Exactly. Then by Dr. Google. Yes. Peer review bolsters credibility of journal articles significantly. Thank you. Yes. What? What they said. Just received a nasty email about assignment for my teacher, and I have until noon tomorrow to resubmit. Oh. I'm sorry. Let's see if I can do this again. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, Bray, thank you. Thank you for gifting Nitta Girl a sub. That is so sweet of you. Uh, Nikki says, but she'd given us like five assignments to do last week, so I was swamped. Ugh, I hate that. That is, that is annoying. Hopefully you can uh, get it done. Sorry that it's like such short notice. Two, three, Five. Not even on in frame for half of this. For six. Okay, how many? One, two, five. Okay, I did five. I think I'm going to end up making like a square. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm just going to practice. So I did five split rings. So I get to do five in a row, and then we can turn a corner again. It back over. Do the thing. Let me grab the, the loop. Oh, get my tails out of the way. It's always important to keep your tail out of the way. <laughs> it's good advice in life. I need to find something to do with these, uh, these, all these other colors of thread that I've recently acquired. Through the loop, a tie, pretty much tie off a knot. Let 
flip it tie off the other way okay hey there bx stoned how are you welcome in i'm practicing split rings and needle tatting i'm getting the hang of it Yo, thank you. Thank you very Yeah, I definitely needed the fingy stretches. Not like the fi the five fingy stretches that I got before I did anything tonight on stream. <laughs> yeah. I just want to enjoy the stream. Yeah, thank you. Okay. I need to do two, three more. So, I'm, is anyone willing to help me find two peer-reviewed journal articles on fear of abandonment? I wouldn't even know where to look. Four, five, six. We're gonna flip. What is that song? Flip it up and reverse it. Wasn't that Missy Elliott? Anytime, uh. I have to flip and move things around. That's, I think of that song. <laughs> uh, work it. I think that's the name of the song. One. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. Did you do the donkey song? Wait, 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 no, wait. Are you going to do the donkey song? Or are you talking about redeeming the donkey song? Those are two different things. If you do donkey song, if you do the donkey song, um, can you record it for us? I have an idea. I'm not gonna mention my idea idea right now. I have an idea. Oh, we're gaming. <laughs> yeah, I got an idea. Why can't I thread my needle? Hopefully relevant for whatever perspective you're writing. Oh, you've got... um. Um, people uh, suggesting things. That's pretty cool. Oh, you're linking the same one. Oops. Oops. I'll do the donkey song in one second. Give me one moment. I gotta 
close up this ring. Picking Halls, weren't you the one who said that you that you would want to redeem it, but you don't know what it is? Well, this is where you can learn. You can learn what the donkey song is. Let me uh You're so ready. Take my time. Okay. We've got a knot. That's what I get for having a really long thread on this part. All right. There. All right. Found a second one. Hopefully it helped. Oh, that's cool. Thank you for helping Mickey out. Okay. Uh, let's go and do the donkey song. I don't have to get rid of my background because you know what? This is the first time I've done the donkey song without the turkey hat since we started getting the turkey hat. Before, this is how it used to, this is like old school donkey song. Um, Thank you for the follow, Not Ready for Life. And I kind of agree with that username. Uh, let me mute my audio real quick. <clears throat> All right, here is the donkey song that uh, Knitter Girl has redeemed. <clears throat> and if you know the words and the hand movements, sing along. Sweetly sings the donkey at the break of day. If you do not feed him, this is what he'll say. Thank you, Knitter Girl. I appreciate that. Uh, you found me through JP. Very, very cool. Yes, JP was in here earlier. That's worth a cent. Yes. Yes, that is worth 10,000. Um I want want everybody to work for it. <laughs> Normally it's done while wearing the turkey hat, but the turkey hat is long done and over with for tonight. So uh But welcome in not ready for life. We are I'm practicing needle tatting. Usually I do a lot of crochet on the stream, but I'm doing some needle tatting. I'm practicing. That means I can do it three times. No, you you can't do it three times. Gary, Gary. Donkey song is once per stream. It's not like tatter stream where you can do the potato song multiple times during a stream. It's different. It's it it it's it, it's it's different. <laughs> Um, oh, is that, is that a hydrate? I didn't even know that was a thing. Like, I don't, oh, mega thirst. Well, I need to hydrate anyway. And I need to get rid, I need to turn off the heart doily because we're not doing that. Uh, what if someone redeemed it before Gary entered the stream and he didn't know it was redeemed? He'll, well, he'll know it's redeemed when he goes to go down and try to redeem it, and it's not available. Uh, your friends, oh, your friends email. You're going to go back to JP's stream right now. Have a good show. Oh, oh yeah, JP is streaming. Okay, yep. Um, you're, oh, you're losing it? Oh, no, don't lose it, Mikey, uh, Mickey. Getting the vibe, peer reviewed are just like college student dissertations. Kind of, but not really. 
Oh, your oh, today is your friend's three year subversary. Very, very cool. Yeah, peer review articles can are, are very long. Yes. Okay. Oh, speaking of subversaries and anniversaries, I'm not really doing anything special for it, but the 18th of this month is my affiliate anniversary. So, my one year uh, affiliate anniversary. Oh, thank you for shouting out JP. Wait. How come it didn't pull up a video clip? That's, that's weird. I'm going to have to save up to hit all the redeems in one stream. Uh, how are we celebrating? I don't have anything planned. I do not have anything planned. That That's what you meant. Okay, yeah. Affiliate nuts off. Nope, nope, that's all good. It's all good. Gary's just having fun. He likes hitting those buttons. And I like splitting my th thread. Yeah, I seriously need to come up with a tatting pattern for the raid train. Very, very random. Very random. Through the loop. What's up, Moth? What's going on? That worked, but that wasn't the best, but that's why I'm practicing. Kind of floating around. That's what moths tend to do. They float and flutter and stay away from the bug zapper. Stay away from the bug zapper. I know that. I knew that one. I know that one very well. 
Tatter's uh, Dancing Potato. I don't have the potato song as a redeem. That's, that's, I found the song for her, but that's all Tatter's. You gotta go to her, her stream to, to experience that. Four. Okay, one more split ring. I'm gonna do another split ring. And so let me show you what I'm making. Again, this is just practicing. I'm just doing split rings and then I do a regular ring in the corner and then more split rings. Just getting used to the um the technique. Something I'm coming up with on my own. Two. <laughs> I like the lightning bolt. Three. Four. Five. Six. Let's do the turning around. Okay, I'm afraid something's going to happen. You guys are, there's so many emotes. Like, what are y'all up to? <laughs> One. Two. Three. Four. That tornado should be your, um, your signature there, Gary, with because you're you come in like a tornado. Four. Five. Six. Tornado and a gong. And then Nor Ferry with his uh Kraken in the beer. Uh thank you all so much for the articles. Use the website to help find more and found two that fit better. Very cool. I like it, uh when people help out and collaborate and I just wish somebody could help me thread this needle. I can't do it. I can't do it. And I gotta keep cutting off that tail. And I get to write about them and you cry. Oh you can do it. You can definitely do it there, Mickey. <laughs> yes, I know about the needle threaders. <laughs> and I know <laughs> this is the way you said that at first. I was like, wait, what, what? There's a, actually um, the YouTube video where I'm learning a lot of these techniques from. They use one of those dental flossers, like if you have braces. I think the one of the brand's name is Gum. That has a really big loops on them, so that can that would help too. Now, problem is, it's just the the end of my thread gets frayed. And, um, ah! dropped the wrong piece. And, uh, I just gotta cut it so it's a smooth. Didn't realize it cho chose such a dark to topic. Fear and abandonment? Yeah, that's a dark topic. Gonna lurk. Okay. We'll be here for a little bit longer. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more of this. I am getting a little hungry, even though I did have a sandwich before I streamed. I'm trying not to eat as much, but 
there's salad downstairs, and I kind of want a salad. So, thank you for the lurk. Enjoy your lurk. Or maybe not, if you're writing an assignment. <laughs> quesadilla? No, no, no quesadilla. Um, I need to uh, cut back on what I'm eating. Okay. I need to lose weight. Beans, rice, lime, and coconut, and corn. Oh. Oh, dirty rice. I love dirty rice. Like, New Orleans style. Okay, that's what I've made so far. I need to make a ring, a regular ring, or I can do the rest. Yep. It's a technique, again. Um, where is it? Wait, is it in here? I'm, I meal prep taco salads for lunch or the next day. Oh, I love taco salad. Lettuce, black beans, corn, chicken, cheese, spicy ranch. Ooh, now you're talking. Um, these are all my early samples of tatting. Oh, wow. Okay. Early meaning from late December. So, I don't know if, it, if you'll be able to see this. Yeah, you can kind of see this. So, this is just rings and chains. And when you do a ring... Oh, hungry. Yeah, I know how that is. When you do a ring, you come back to here. But if I want to do a ring next to each other, I could do another ring here. But if I did another ring off this ring, I'd end up back where I started. I could do three rings. And if you do the three rings, you make this corner a trefoil. But if you make four, you're back, you make a little square, you can't go anymore. So to do that, you need to do something called a split ring, where you join ring upon ring upon ring into like links on a chain. It's not a chain because a chain is something else in tatting. So uh, I'm learning how to do it. I'm learning. But that's all my beginning pieces. Okay, I need to do a regular ring because it's this ring here in the corner. Uh, wait a minute. If I do a regular ring here, it's going to be here. And I want my ring to be there. So I guess I got to do it on that. You just hit 40,000. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So I guess I have to do it on that string. Yes, yeah, you are a troll. But that's not going to work. That's not going to work because if I do that, I won't be, I'll be making a chain. Unless I thread that strand. This is making me think. I want to make a regular one. So I got to do it all on one strand. But if I do it here. Actually, wait, 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 wait. 
if I do it there, mark, it's going to be in here. It's going to go around like that. I want to be on the outside. So I have to do it on that. I got to switch strands. Yeah, yeah, I got to thread the other. I'm going to see if I can do this. So now this becomes the ball thread. This is complicated. <laughs> At least it's all, we're just doing double stitches and I'm not doing any picos. So. There's that, that's easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, seven, twelve. The true ring, so I don't have to tie the knot. I do have to get that out of my way. Yeah, 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 that's how it's supposed to be. Okay. Now, do a split ring. I guess we keep going. Do we have to reverse work? I don't think we have to reverse work. Oh, that reminds me. That link that just popped up, that is for my friend Frog Internal Gaming. He is the one that got me into streaming. Um, if you like games like Fallout, World of Warcraft, Skyrim, Elder Scrolls Online, those types of games, um, definitely go and give him a follow and tune into his stream if you're able to. He streams between 4 and 6 p.m. Eastern Time on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, if you see me in there and you kind of see me giving him some ragging on him, that's just a friendship we are. It's all good fun. I don't really mean it. I just like to pick on him. And while you're at it, if you happen to be in his stream when he's live, mention that you want to see me and him collab on each other's channels. I'm trying to push for that. He doesn't like playing video games with other people. My idea is on my stream, um, he is a guest on mine, and we play a video game, and then I guest on his, and I teach him how to do a craft. So I'm trying to push him for that. Since he's helped me get to all of this, um, want to give back and get him to affiliate. He has been streaming longer than I have and he has not affiliate yet, so. Great, great streamer, great friend. I've known him 
um, before I even knew what Twitch was. Like I said, he's the one who got me into streaming. All right. So do I have to reverse work? Yeah. No, 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 no. We don't have to reverse work. We have to switch. The, um, what do you call this? Threads. Okay. Let's do another split ring here. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. Didn't even need to thread it right then because I have to um, take it out of here to do the other half of the ring. One, two, three, four, five. Let me see if that's, yeah, that's going to look right. I think I'm doing this right. I'm making it up as I go along. Excuse me. Let's. Figure out how to hold all of this. I do have to do the knot. California's getting hit with storm. Yeah, I heard about that the past couple days. And it gets through there. Yeah, um... JP was in here the other night and said he didn't have any power. And that was sun yeah, Sunday night when I was streaming. All right. Okay, let's see. I did it. Yes, I did it. That's how I wanted it to, to look. So I'm turning another corner. I'm going to make a little square. I don't know what this is going to be. Maybe a little cute little little frame to go maybe around like a, a small little picture. All right. Let's see. Let's put this. I'm going to put this away. We're going to find somebody to raid. I've been going on for almost four hours now. Are, are you... Are you yaying at what I did or yaying that we're leaving? <laughs> I don't know what you're happy about. <laughs> okay, let's. I have thread everywhere. Oh, what my what I made? Yeah, again, I'm learning. I'm learning the split ring. There's a couple other techniques. Our little things that you do that I still have to learn, but I'm learning. I'm getting it. 
Okay, let's move that to the side. And let's do all the things. Um, I have the YouTube channel. Again, you can watch all of my previous streams. Check that out. I have a Discord. Feel free to post anything that you want to post that you're working on, pictures of your surrounding areas, all of the recipes. Um, also, while you're at the Discord, again, I'm going to remind you, in the events section, there are a handful of links that are associated with this upcoming Maryland-themed stream. This month is Baltimore. Um, there are a couple different um, items. If you want to purchase any of those, I get no um, kickback from any of those. So I'm not sponsored, no affiliates with any of that. Um, if you want to purchase any of those to join along with me when I talk about Baltimore, we're going to have a section on food. Um, you can try some Baltimore favorites, um, just a few of them. Um, so that's a cool interactive thing I would like to share with everyone. Uh, I also have a merch store. Check out the merch if you want to support the stream. A great way to support it and get something in return for your support. You can get t-shirts, hoodies, water bottles, tote bags, all of that good stuff. I am, need to work on Granny Karen merch. Um, Got to play around with some Photoshop skills. So that's going to be a test of mine. While I'm at it, let me turn off my music. Because um, we're getting ready to raid out. And let me find the thing. I'm going to move my glass so I can see what I'm doing here. Um, alrighty. Let's get the thing. Copy that. Um, I'm going to get the raid call for followers. So any follower can use that one. And the second one is for subscribers. We're going to find some lucky person. That I can drop everyone off to. Um, let's see here. Who is on? Let me. Uh, I read into them the other day, I think. Um, I know who we're going to go and raid. Oh, no, thank you, Anna. Thank you very much. Um, I will be on again tomorrow night for, um, what do you call it? The needle point, the butterfly needle point. So uh, we're going to switch it up with some fiber arts. And we're going to go and do that. So I will be on again at 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, stick around for the raid. We're going to go raid JP. He was in here earlier. He was stitching along when I was teaching the dock leaf stitch. We're going to go and see what he is doing. Um, show him some love. A really good um, streamer over there. And uh, hey there, Van Bunny 3. Welcome in. We're getting ready to raid out. Um, I will talk to you all tomorrow night. Uh, oh, I forgot what you've been saying. I forgot my, my, my exit. Um, as I always say, happy.